It's not just a sneaker, it's culture, a way of life. We try to be the ones to bring them to our community. Culture Detroit is where sneaker lovers, also known as sneaker heads, come to collect and trade sneakers. But just before 3 a.m. Wednesday morning, an intruder made their way in this sacred space. They took a, a pickup truck and bagged into the back of the, or the front of the building and tore down the whole facade of the building. Approximately six uh, unknown males uh, entered the location and uh, took a bunch of clothing and shoes. Police arrived within minutes. And was able to see the vehicle fleeing southbound, uh, pursued, uh, followed for a short period of time, but we don't chase for property. The, the speeds game became very excessive. But before this crime got underway, another crime took place. We later found out that the truck was stolen too. So. And now the search for these suspects continues. We're going to put some more units out there to try to uh, prevent this from happening in the future. The stolen items and damage left at Culture Detroit is heartbreaking because this is not the first break in. Back to 2015, there's been eight incidents. And that includes this one from Wednesday morning. Does this make you want to leave? A part of me wants, makes us want to leave, but at the same time, we determined to still give the people what we set out to do. And that's to keep sneakerheads safe. When we first got into the business, you would hear a lot of stories of guys making deals on Craigslist or Facebook, and then you meet up and, you know, fake money, fake shoes. So we wanted to create a safe haven where kids can be able to buy, sell, and trade and start their own businesses and do it the right way. For now, efforts are underway to clean up the glass and board up the open space. As the co-owners and their partners work to safeguard this merchandise, they have a message for the bad guys who keep doing this criminal activity. To the bums who did this, go get a job. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.